Hello everyone, good morning, welcome back to another video. Today, I teleported here in Georgia. today's tour we're doing Kakati wine tour we're doing um, a few stops along the way then in the afternoon we'll go to two wine Nuri. we're here actually on our second stop already um, yeah I forgot to do the intro before our first stop because I was so sleepy I got here around 5 a.m. then my tour starts at 9 but earlier we tried cheese tasting and also they showed us how they make their bread and now we're here at Santonini's con convent stop of our tour today we're here at Kareba winery actually to be honest um after I drank the wine I was alive again <laughs> yeah sorry about earlier I was a bit groggy sleepy because I just had 30 minutes of sleep so I didn't put a proper intro so yeah we're here now at Georgia it's situated between Asia and Europe and this is a wine country so what best way to start the trip is to start with wine tour <laughs> of course tomorrow we'll do another tour so see ya okay hello everyone welcome to day two of georgia i'm much more better i've slept well welcome to my humble abode i forgot to um introduce this to you yesterday i only paid for 180 larry for this one for four nights and it's very near the center as well they have a um shared kitchen and shared bathroom which has a washing machine on it and it's super clean for today's um tour initially i booked for a bakoriani borjumi tour but they said in bakoriani it's not ideal now since it's spring already it's getting warmer so the snow is melting so it will be muddy so um they've changed 
my tour to Veridzia, Borjumi instead. So I don't know what I'm expecting because it's been changed like two days ago. So we'll see. Let's see. I just climbed I don't know if you can see it in the GoPro but all of that back down and it's so tiring it's very steep and some of the caves are very small so if you have claustrophobia it might trigger it but it was so beautiful and interesting it somehow reminded me of the caves in Cappadocia Georgia is considered the birthplace of wine so as you can see there are vineyards everywhere even my tour guide said that locals have their own vineyard at their back backyard and make their own wine
I'm here now at Tbilisi Airport. So I'm leaving Georgia now, sad to say. And I had three full days in here. The schedule is a bit tight, but I think I got the most out of it. In day one, we did the Kakati wine, which I think is a good way to start the trip here in Georgia since they are known for their wine. So it's like a good introduction to the country. Then in day two, I was um, originally planning to go skiing, but on the area that I want to do it, they said the temperature is getting high, so the snow is melting now. They changed it to Barzia, which I really did enjoy. I was lucky to be on a group of people with positive energy and Catherine, our guide on that day, was very excellent and handling a big group like us. And lastly, tour number three, the itinerary was Gudauri and Kaspegi tour. But in the end, we didn't push through because avalanche happened along the way. We just I managed to go by Gudauri and we turned back but instead we went to the Chronicles of Georgia it is good as well and yeah I really enjoyed it I got all my tours from Gamar Juba which literally means hello or hi in Georgia yeah it's a shame that I haven't been to Kasbegi because it's one of the highlights in the country but you know at least i have a reason to come back i haven't discovered like tbilisi yet because i just it was my base but i haven't been out really because after the tours um the tours are usually like 12 or 14 hours i usually just go to sleep because i was tired so there's more reason to come back and that's it for this vlog see you in armenia